Hello everybody, how are you all? Okay, so today I'm going to make with you a pine cone, cone bird feeder. Okay, so all you need is a bit of bird seed. Whoop, a bit of bird seed, can you see that? Nice bird seed there. Some pine cones, so you can pick these up on your walk like I did with these. You need some string or yarn. You need some lard or suet. A cheese grater. A bowl. A knife. And some scissors. Okay, so, and I'm doing this all on my chopping board. Okay, so, um, it says... There we go. So I can hold that there. If you want to press pause and then you can print it out at home or you can download it as well. OK, off the website. So it says warm the lard up to room temperature, which mine has been, but don't melt it. Then cut it up into small pieces and put it in the mixing bowl. So I don't think I'm going to need this whole big lard here. So I'm just going to take a... A little of it, I think maybe that much there will be plenty. So that's what I'm going to use. And it says I have to cut it up into small little pieces. So here we go. Cut it up. Ooh, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> sticky, sticky. Yeah. Like that, that's it. And then teeny tiny bits from there. I'm going to put it in this little bowl to finish chopping it and it's very sticky because it is room temperature as it asked us to do. Feels a little bit like soap actually, you know I mean soap's a little bit damp, feels a little bit like that. So chop that all up, Ooh. it's a bit sticking together which is a good thing because it needs to stick in a minute doesn't it. Okay so I've chopped all that up in my bowl as you can see there, okay. And then number two says, add the other ingredients to the lard. Now it does actually say that you can add raisins and peanuts and also grated cheese. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna keep mine really simple. I'm literally gonna do bird seed and lard. So it says, next thing to tie the string, take your string, so you might need your scissors to cut a bit of string off. I've got a nice long one there to the end of your pine cone. So the pine cones are kind of facing upwards, so it makes sense to me that all of it will stay in place better if I if I tie it that way up. So with the bit at the bottom there that actually normally goes on the tree. So I'm gonna tie that around there. Ooh. Oh, it's very exciting. I wonder what lovely birds this is gonna bring into my garden. This is something that would work all year round, wouldn't it? So I've tied that really tightly, okay? So it strings like that, okay? Yep, so I've tied the string on the cone and then it says fill them with the bird mix and put the, right, so we've got to add some bird food, some of this grain into our bowl with all the lard like that. And then it says to mix it all in. So we'll mix it all in a little bit. Might have to get our hands in and get really sticky in a minute. I'm gonna do the initial bit with my knife or spoon. Be careful if you're using a knife. Oh, so there's gonna be loads. Oh my goodness me, the birds are gonna love this. And actually I can add even more because it's really taking quite a lot into it really nicely. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels really lovely. It's very therapeutic. Oh, look at that. Can you see? Wow. Oh, it's coming together beautifully. So we'll put that all together. Oh, lovely. I think I'm even going to put a bit more bird food on that. Oh, they're going to love this so much. Oh, so that was plenty of lard, that amount. Okay, I've got so much here. I've probably got plenty to do like four different ones. You could make some of these and make really nice ribbon to hang off trees. And then you could give them, couldn't you, for presents, birthday presents or Valentine presents to your loved ones. Um, yeah, these are great. Okay, so now what you need to do is put the cones 
like this. I'm going to add all our lovely la lardy bird food and kind of compressed it around and push it into the little grooves in the pine cone. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm, see that? I'm pushing it in so it gathers inside the little leaves of the pine cone. Okay, I'll do it over here because it's very messy. Yeah. Oh. And then as the birds feed from this, it'll end up revealing your pine cone again, won't it? Which will look really nice in the tree. So sometimes bird feeds, when the birds are finished feeding, they just look a bit nasty hanging there, don't they? And sometimes you haven't got around to getting them down and you look out the window in the rain and you go, oh, let's get that down. But these at least will look really pretty because they've been just left with lovely pine cones, which is super. So, oh, squash all that on. Oh my goodness me, they're going to love these. And there we have it my bird feeder so I can go and hang that in the garden now on a tree like that and make sure it's up nice and high so that you don't get any cats getting those birds with a nice long bit look at that they're gonna love that and as they feed from it then all the lovely um uh, uh fur comb will show again there you go I hope you enjoyed it and I'm excited to see any photos that you can send in and um, we can have a little look Great job.